Hello and welcome to 2334 North Kenwood Avenue. This is located a few blocks from 21st to Illinois, not far from Ivy Tech Community College, uh, not far from downtown. We do have a three bedroom, one and a half bath home. It is half of a duplex. We have almost 1,500 square feet and a basement in this house. Uh, there is off-street parking in the back with, uh, with a, uh, a driveway that's been created. As you can see, we do have a nice front porch area. Now this home has had a considerable amount of work done. Uh, this vacancy, we've got new carpets, fresh paint, a couple upgrades here and there. Uh, it really looks fantastic. We also have a bonus sitting room downstairs as well to make for a fantastic office or maybe a little game room. As we come in, we can see our foyer area here. And immediately to the right, we do have uh, this bonus room that I was telling you about. So you can see we have new carpet in the house. This room up front, we've got two giant windows. Most of the homes, or most of the windows in the house are definitely large, oversized windows. And we have very high ceilings on this level of the home, making it feel even more spacious than it already does. So here's our bonus room. And immediately, a little further back, we do have another living area with our stairway that leads upstairs to the private quarters of the home. Continuing back on the first floor, we come to our kitchen. This door will take us to our basement. We'll get down there in a second. We've got a, a fairly sizable kitchen Roomy enough to put a uh, small dining room table in the corner here. A little cubby here that would be great for any type of extra storage. Uh, I'm really surprised. Looks like the refrigerator is probably too wide to fit in there. Um, we do have a gas stove and all the uh, uh, mechanicals in the house are also gas. So you can see we've got cabinets above and below the sink. Nice countertops, cabinet space. Another large oversized window. This door will lead us back to our laundry room. We do have an electrical dryer outlet, our washer and dryer hookups in this room. And then the back door as well. We'll take a peek out here to look at the backyard. As you can see, there is a uh, um, little graveled drive area for off-street parking. There's also street parking. Uh, in the small backyard, of course, it is shared with the neighbor. We'll move on into the basement for a moment. We do have a, oh, we forgot. Back here is our half bath or guest bathroom on the main floor. Um, this may have been an add-on at some point. A lot of these older houses do not have a downstairs bathroom, so that makes it very convenient, you don't have to have guests or yourself continuing to run up and down the stairs uh, when they're visiting. The, uh, we have our vanity, medicine cabinet, and in this little cubby is our toilet, towel rack and paper towel holder, so forth. Now this door will take us down to our basement. So you can see it's, uh, it's, it's been cleaned up fairly well. It's not very big. Um, probably about, uh, maybe about 15 by 20, if that. Uh, we do have our mechanicals, both our hot water heater, circuit breaker box, as well as our furnace. Next, we'll head upstairs to the uh, we'll head upstairs to the bedrooms of the home. Okay. start at the back of the house and work our way forward. 
at the back of the hallway upstairs, we do see our full bathroom. We have our vanity, another medicine cabinet, our toilet, our full bathtub with shower, as well as a uh, built-in linen closet already installed in the bathroom. Down this way on the right hand side we have one of our bedrooms. Now this bedroom has two closets, two sizable closets. One of them is a large walk-in closet. Let me get back here, show you the size of the room a little better. And this room is, uh, it, it's about probably 10 by 12 feet, plus the walk-in closet here. Nice, sizable closet. Let me turn the light on there. Shelf with a hanging rack. And then we have our second closet here. A little bit smaller, more of a standard closet. A little step. Uh, goes over the actual stairway of the house down there. So further down the hallway we come to our second room. You can see the size here a little bit. Uh, this room's a little bit bigger. This is probably closer to 15 by 10. Uh, we have a uh, another reach-in closet similar to the small closet in the other bedroom, but it, it's actually deeper, it's wider. So, then on to our third bedroom. And this is the largest bedroom in the house. This is more like a, almost a living area, very large room. Uh, this is gonna be maybe 18 by 12. It's almost the size of a one car garage. Probably could be the size of a one-car garage. And we've got a, another wide reach-in closet here, about five feet wide. So really nice, spacious home, not far from the downtown area. Uh, be great for college students, uh, easy transit to IUPUI, Ivy Tech. So once again, we're at 2334 North Kenwood Avenue. This home is located not far from downtown, just north of downtown, uh, not far from 21st and uh, Illinois Avenue. It's kind of tucked off. Um, it doesn't go all the way up through to Fall Creek. We have a three bedroom, one and a half bath home with tons of space, including an unfinished basement, and off-street parking in the rear. If this is the kind of property you're looking for, then I would encourage you to contact our leasing department at 317-484-8444, extension 1. They can answer any questions that you might have. They can schedule a time for you to view the property yourself and give you any information about this property or any other homes that we have currently listed. You can also get more information on our website at www.rpmindymetro.com. You can find our complete uh, list of current uh, homes available, as well as more details and video walkthroughs. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video, and we look forward to helping you find your next place to live.